As it gets close to Christmas, it's time to scour the eShop and find some epic solo bargains or top-notch multiplayer games. And that's exactly what we have done. It's no surprise that this is a strong week, so grab yourself a coffee or a tea and kick back as we showcase the best deals and fun games. Speaking of fun games, this video is brought to you by Hypercharge Unboxed. This is a project of passion from a team that have created a real love letter to the toys of our childhood in the form of a superb FPS game with tower defense and wave-based mechanics. What I love about this game is how the developers are constantly adding new online, solo and local content, which is why they are up for an indie award that they definitely deserve. You can check out the link below to add your vote if you want to without having to sign up. This one is definitely one you're gonna to wanna to play with some mates this Christmas. Okay, let's jump in and get to these bargains. Kicking things off this week with my pick of the week, it's Ashen. Ashen is a wonderful Dark Souls inspired title that evokes that same feeling you get when you first booted up Dark Souls, but has its own style and story. The graphics are superb, combining simplicity and detail in a really brilliant way. The soundtrack is spot on as well, with gloomy, expanding tracks. Unlike most similar games, there is a sense of partnerships and community. You'll be accompanied by a companion who is very useful. The lore, lands and style are all great, but combat is where this game truly shines. The AI is excellent and the controls are really sharp. You cannot go wrong picking this one up, especially with its largest ever sale with a chunky 60% off. Jordan, Juan, what are your picks this week? Hey everyone, Jordan here with my bargain of this festive week. This week I'm going for a JRPG classic Final Fantasy IX. Why? Well, any excuse to show off my physical import. Anyways, if you don't want to import or you don't care about physical versions, then the digital release is now 50% off. It's now a very reasonable £8.49 in the UK and £10.49 in the US and Europe. This is a fantastic JRPG from the heyday of the genre, and this price is just great. Really lovable characters, amazing music, good story, it's really good value. If you do want to pick up the physical version, then I'll tell James to put a link below in the description with our personal discount code thanks very much james i'm choosing something a little different to what i usually go for this week and that is kentucky route zero tv edition this makes me want to eat a kfc just saying it but anyways this game is a realist adventure game and what i liked about it is the great haunting electronic musical score and the visual style which accompanies it so well the game is spread over the five acts which have all been released now and put into this one game and the story is fantastically well written it's essentially a point and click adventure, but not in the traditional sense. Instead of you collecting items and puzzle solving, you spend more time in conversations and there's so much choice in each of them. I ended up being totally drawn in. Finding an address is the name of the game along the hidden highway zero. You'll meet interesting companions and it's a game I really enjoyed from start to finish. While not for everyone, it's so easy to recommend with 40% off in all regions. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Super picks there, guys. Jordan, that collection is absolutely huge now. Next up, it's Moonlighter. Now, this is a quirky title that combines managing a store and randomized dungeon crawling. The result is a fantastic experience. You play as a young man who has inherited a shop in a town that's run down. Its claim to fame are the mysterious dungeons that draw brave explorers from around the world looking to tackle its depths and shopgoers from far and wide who want to purchase the dungeon's wonders. Not content with simply managing a shop, you take the plunge and the game's loop of delving into the dungeon, battling its beasties and then plundering loot which you figure out how best to sell using the earnings to improve yourself before diving back in is very addictive indeed. A strong RPG sim crossover that is a bargain with its largest sale off so far with a healthy 70% off. Whilst not quite as well known as the Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest series, the Tales series nevertheless has a solid history starting all the way back in 1995. Tales of Vesperia is an epic 45 hour long JRPG with a delightful anime style and really solid gameplay. The port, 10 years after originally released on other platforms, is handled nicely. And on the Switch, it's a definitive version with a few new gameplay elements and boosted graphics. This version features the original Japanese voice acting as well as an English dub option. And I love the combat that sits somewhere between turn-based and real-time. If you are after a real chunky RPG to play this Christmas, then this might be what you're looking for. 
Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom is a truly special title. This is the spiritual successor of the Wonder Boy series. This Metroidvania platformer is one of the best there is with excellent controls and wonderful gameplay supported by beautiful graphics and one of the very best soundtracks we've heard on the Switch. This is definitely not one to be missed. It's a great fun playing as all these different animals and everyone can enjoy this regardless of age or skill level. One of the highest backed crowdfunded games of all time, Bloodstained is the spiritual successor to the Castlevania series that so many people have craved and the fact that Koji Iragashi himself was involved is why people threw cash at this one. The game doesn't disappoint, although the Switch version launched with some bugs which have since mostly been fixed. But this is classic tunes, slashing, everything that you remember. It stays very true to the Castlevania formula, so look no further if that's what you're craving this Christmas. If you like narrative games, then what remains of Edith Finch is for you. You need to figure out why Edith Finch is the last of her family left alive. Each story you find in the house lets you experience the story of that family member right up until their death. Certainly a very interesting game. At 70% off, it is worth a shot now that it is much cheaper. Next up, it's Children of Mortar and what a fabulous indie game this really is. Your job is to protect Mortar and you have a whole family to do it with all of which have a varying different playstyles in this awesome roguelike dungeon crawler. The story is told by a narrator who will instantly have you drawn in. The visuals and epic soundtrack are the icing on the cake, and this is a really compelling and playable title. A lot of people may have played this on Game Pass, and it's equally fun on the Switch, especially having it in handheld as well. Iconoclast is an action platformer with lots of puzzles and a surprisingly interesting story made by just one person. It is one of those titles that is better than the sum of its parts. The visuals are decent, the audio is decent and the gameplay is appealing. But somehow together it's a little bit magical. It's a really fun experience and with 60% off you can't go far wrong. Underhero is a charming tale. The hero has failed and as underling of the evil king, you reluctantly take his spot. This is a side-scrolling adventure with RPG elements and a really lush pixel art world to explore. The combat is excellent. Everything about timing your attacks and the different bosses really stands out. If you haven't seen this one, then it's certainly worth a look. Deponia is a point and click adventure from Daedalic Entertainment. These guys really do bash them out. Deponia is a slapstick adventure that harks back to Monkey Island. It's that sort of game. If you like over-the-top silly jokes and a not-too-serious point-and-click game that looks lovely, then take a look at this one. It's a good game at a high price normally, but with a whopping 90% off, it really is a solid deal. Florence started life on mobiles to well-deserved critical acclaim, so it's a really natural fit on the Switch with its touchscreen capabilities. A beautifully hand-drawn, comic style tale that unfolds as her mix of light gameplay and immersive story. You play as Florence, a woman in her 20s stuck in a dull routine when she suddenly gets drawn in by some fabulous music, meets Krish, and what follows is a charming interactive rom-com. Interestingly, there is no actual dialogue, but the story is so well laid out and relatable that you never struggle to understand what's going on. The game score is superb, and the only downside is the really short sub one hour runtime, something that is negated with a nice 50% off. Hyper Parasite is a cyberpunk roguelike. This twin stick game offers something different. An alien parasite has invaded Earth and you play as the parasite against humanity's defences. Whilst in the original parasite form you're weak and so you need to patiently infect and take over hosts which you can unlock for future runs, it's tough at first until you get strong enough at which point things become a lot more fun. The graphics and audio are nothing to write home about, but this is a nice twist on the genre. If you can't get enough of the cyberpunk style, then check out our roundup of cyberpunk games available on the Switch. Hue is a vibrant, award-winning puzzle adventure where you alter the world by changing its background colour. The key mechanic is cool and easy enough to understand with the right mix of added complexity as you delve deeper. The platforming elements combine well with the puzzles for a game that's challenging but not ridiculously so. I reviewed this one when it first came out and enjoyed it. It's a shortish experience that you play and then shelve which makes a huge 90% off attractive here. Sparklight is an action-adventure game that takes place in the wonderful world of Geodia. You get to enjoy amazing pixel art and a wonderful soundtrack by Dale North in this one. The game contains five unique and procedurally generated biomes to explore that offer some nice variety. It is loads of fun and with the update back in Feb to version 1.5, the experience became even better. There's loads of new content. If you don't own this game already, then now's the time to dive in with a nice 60% off, which is the biggest discount on this one to date. 
Gora Gora is a critically acclaimed puzzle game from developers Buried Signal. It's beautiful, imaginative, and often cited as a work of art. It was originally $15, which was always a bit of a stretch for many due to the fact that it's just a two-hour runtime game. But now with 70% off at $4.49, this is very good value for your money. If you were on the fence originally, then now's the time to strike. For the King is a fascinating game that blends strategy, RPG, classic tabletop gameplay and roguelike elements that takes you back to the 90s with its heavy RNG dice rolling mechanics. The graphics are cartoon-like and quaint. It's enjoyable both as a solo story or as a co-op experience to play this Christmas either way. Donut County is a neat little game which we enjoyed very much and it certainly does not outstay its welcome. Here we have a story about BK the raccoon who is one of many raccoons that have taken over Donut County with remote controlled trash stealing holes. Why do they do this? Well, it is to earn prizes, of course. One day, as BK falls into one of his own holes and is confronted by his friends, they demand to know what the crack is. If you like physics games, then this is one for you. It also has a bit of puzzle thrown in for good measure as well as exploration. This is a great little game to play and can be completed on a nice Sunday afternoon. A twin stick shooter brimming with cheesy 80 references. Sign me up. The premise is ridiculous. Aliens have turned veg into apocalyptic doom bringers that attack humans. This is B-movie written all over it and it's awesome. The neon colours and music are on point. And whilst it isn't quite up there with the very best twin stick shoots on the platform, it is really good and does give them a bit of a run for their money, especially with a whopping 85% off right now. And there you have it, folks, a bunch of eShop games that are on sale that are wallet busters for sure. Although maybe we should call it wallet savers, seeing as they're going to save you some cash. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for stopping by. And on behalf of me, Jordan and Juan, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for supporting us and uh, have a great time. See you soon. Take care.